What's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at again for another New York Giants video. Uh, this is going to be a very kind of like opinion driven video. So uh, not much editing in this one. I'm just kind of be talking. You guys are going to be listening to my beautiful silky voice. I'm kidding. <laughs> but that's what this really is going to be. That's also because I'm really busy right now, you know what I'm saying? I really won't have time to edit this particular video too much. A lot of y'all already know because you tuned into the stream last night. I'm already working on my mock draft number one. I've been spending the better part of my free time, like the past three, four days working on that one. I, I'm sure you guys are going to love it when it comes out. Members, good news. You guys are probably going to see that tonight, which means regular viewers are probably going to see it by Friday. Uh, no guarantees, but that's what it's looking like. And kind of a quick announcement. There will be no call-in show tonight. Uh, the reasoning for that is I'm going to be busy. Check community notes if you want to know more information because I don't want to take up too much of this video. I'm going to try and schedule a calling show later this week, but it's looking like there might not be a call-in show this particular week. Uh, with that being said, let us get, us get into the actual video. Kevin Zeitler, the offensive line, and the New York Giants, really, right? I've been seeing a lot of talk from fans in particular, right? It's not rumors. This is not anything I'm seeing from beat reporters, not anything I'm seeing from like official sources or whatnot, just fan speculation on the Giants, which is completely fine because I'm a fan and you could argue my entire channel is just fan speculation. But I've been seeing a lot of people talk about freeing up the cap space, which is a legitimate concern for the Giants right now and a legitimate concern for every team in the NFL because we're sitting at a low cap space right now, around 175 mil. One of the contracts on the Giants books right now one of the top five ones, I think it's the third biggest, the third or fourth biggest contract that we have on our books is right guard Kevin Zeitler. And he's going to be on the books for maybe another year, I think, before his contract is up. A lot of people are saying that we should trade Zeitler to try and get that money off the books because he's going to be off the books in one year anyway and use that to get, you know, to help us get an offensive weapon. Now, I completely understand that. You guys know me, I'm take a wide receiver in the first round kind of guy right now. I definitely know the need to get a playmaking weapon for Daniel Jones. But we should not do that to the sacrifice of our offensive line. And I've been saying this all year. Those of you that have been watching me all 2020 season and even longer have known that I've been on record saying Kevin Zeiler is probably our best offensive lineman. I don't know why you'd want to get rid of our best offensive lineman. Is Zeitler currently overpaid for the production he's giving? Maybe. You could probably argue that, but certainly not to the extent that, for example, Nate Solder is being overpaid, who is a contract that's definitely going to come off the books one way or the other this offseason. But Kevin Zeitler? Maybe he's overpaid, but with good reason. He's our best offensive lineman in pass protection and probably in run blocking. And like I said, this is going to be opinion driven. I'm giving you from the eye test right now what I'm seeing on the field and also from, you know, facts that are kind of floating around in my mind that, you know, you gather throughout this season, last season and, and everything else. Right. Kevin Zeitler is our veteran offensive lineman right now, the leader of that offensive line. So you got two things right now, his production on the field and his presence off the field that tell you you probably shouldn't get rid of him. Another reason, we still don't have a good replacement for him and the offensive line as a whole is still building. I feel like Giants fans forget this. We have the pieces for it to, you know, be finished built and we hope that those pieces are the correct ones. You know, we're heading in the right we're heading in the right space. Andrew Thomas left tackle of the future in my opinion. Will Hernandez, you hope he's the left guard of the future. I actually talked about this on last night's stream. Shout out to Kid Blue, Pest, Diggy, and Lauren for being on there. Will Hernandez probably is better than what we saw in 2020 because of his, you know, his COVID struggles. So you hope that he's the left guard of the future. Nick Gates looked good in his first year as a center. You hope that he's the center of the future. You don't got your right tackle of the future yet. You don't have your right guard of the future yet. You don't want to mess up the building process of the offensive line. It's still going. 
you know, we're still building it. It's not finished. I feel like a lot of Giants fans feel like it's finished. You don't want to, you know, get in there, mess it up, and then we're going to be building that offensive line for longer than it should be built. I mean, we've already made great progress. We've essentially spent three years on building this offensive line because the earliest piece there right now is Will Hernandez. You know, I'm talking about this iteration of the offensive line. Realistically, we spent about 11 years trying to get a good offensive line for the New York Giants, but this particular iteration, three years, and you could say we're three-fifths of the way there. Don't mess up the remaining two-fifths. Shane Lemieux is not going to replace Kevin Zeidler, at least not in the way that he's been so far. And he is a rookie, so there's 100% room for improvement. But Shane Lemieux, for all intents and purposes, is just a run blocker. You can't get him out there in pass protection at all. He's too bad in pass protection. And you know he's a run blocker by the fact that you don't, like, don't even go to any stats. We had him out there as a fullback. <laughs> that's, that's Shane Lemieux, our alternate fullback and run blocking guard. He's a backup, and that's fine. The guy was a fourth or fifth round pick. It's completely fine. We still need to find somebody to replace Zeitler eventually, yes. But I'm actually a believer that we should keep him on and then re-sign him on a way cheaper deal, of course, okay? You know, he's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be older, even older than he already is, but I would not have a problem with re-signing Zeitler to even a way cheaper deal that he is right now to continue to be a veteran leader presence on this offensive line and still, one of our best offensive linemen i'm talking down the line here right now he still is the best offensive lineman the giants have but down the line hopefully that'll be shifted to one of our best you know andrew thomas develops you know hernandez gets back to form we find our right tackle whether it's Peart or somebody else but <laughs> zeitler is taking up a lot of cap right now but it's with good reason it's 100 with good reason if you get rid of him that line is going to struggle a lot that offensive line is going to look even worse than it did in the past three years. And let's keep it real here. The offensive line, we saw, we saw flashes. We saw promise. There was a good four-week stretch where it looked really, really good for the Giants. But if we're talking overall, in 2020, it was not a good offensive line. And there's a lot of factors to that. COVID, injuries, the two biggest ones, and also just gaining chemistry with a brand new group. We really didn't start to hit our stride around till week seven. And then there was the Hernandez COVID scare on like, what, week 10-ish? You know what I mean? That had put a big interruption and everything. And Hernandez would never really got back to form, like really until the end of the season, to be honest with you. So it's all about keeping that chemistry and building on it. Keep Kevin Zeitler. Find another way to get that free cap space. It's not going to look good if we get rid of him, Giants fans. It really is not. It's not worth the trouble of trying to find a, you know, a suitable replacement for somebody that's been the best guard and the best lineman for us all year and one of the better graded offensive linemen you know throughout the entire nfl i don't think it's worth it i just want to get that out there uh put your thoughts down below let me know what you guys think because i'm not <sighs> listen i really think the giants are going to draft the wide receiver i think we're going to draft our number one wide receiver and i think we might sign another playmaker Right now with the cap situation, if it was different, I would say we would sign a number one wide receiver and draft the playmaker. Notice the difference. I really think we're gonna try and attack with the 11th overall pick, the number one wide receiver for New York Giants, and maybe we'll sign, you know, a rotational, maybe a second or third guy that's a good playmaker in free agency. Cause that's what we got right now. That's the cap space we gotta do. We gotta re-sign the entire defense. And then after we re-sign the entire defense, only then, should you be looking to bringing in new people? At least in my opinion. So that means we do not have the money for number one. Like that's just how it is. And the only way we do is honestly, if the Zeitler contract comes off the books, and I really, really think that's a bad idea. But once again, put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you all think. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.